What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Vampire. We eat blood and suck on our friends or something like that. And we had an awesome time last episode. Um, we hid from the sun. Uh, we saw an ass on a coffee table that we used to put our face in. Um, I think that's pretty much the pertinent stuff. Uh, so we went to bed. It is now, I believe, 8 eight something in new york and we have a message from i believe not macy let's check it out oh it's sammy <laughs> okay the floppy kitten could find no place to hide in the deep dark lake wait sammy uh or down deep dark lake the floppy kitten tried to find a place to hide but couldn't uh the floppy kitten could find no place to hide in the deep dark lake down a deep dark lake the floppy kitten tried to find a place to hide but couldn't first one yeah the second one seems stupid <laughs> what? uh oh Izzy sorry I passed out sleep's all messed up because I never opened the blinds and I was really hungry I was painting what did you paint probably another one of my dreams is that her she's hideous <laughs> the sun was about to come up uh, I don't know. Oh, shit, what do you want? Listen to me now, Case. The gods are returning. How do you know? Yeah, what the fuck am I still doing in this apartment with my friend's ass? Or my ex ex's ass? Put your back against the burnt wall that has no blood on it in the food room. The kitchen? Whatever the fuck. Yes, that room. Okay. Now slide slowly left so you can see in the dark in the distance the long tracks. You will see one sodium vapor light. Look now. Do you see an ugly face? I recognize it. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> that was me, pretty. I am watching. They are coming. You should run. I didn't see anything else. And you know, why am I listening to you, not Macy? No, you, unfortunately, aren't intelligent. But unauthorized breeding irritates the gods, and their irritation amuses me. What do I do? Go breed your friend? <laughs> well. New York, Saturday, 6.20 a.m. You will die again. Oh, Mom, leave me alone. I went to Hollis's house. I found Hollis. I mean, I found Hollis's head hanging from a hook. Where are you? Fuck case, I don't want to be by myself right now. Where are you? God damn it. My phone's dead. Please be, don't be dead. If you're dead, I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? Saturday, 8.24 p.m. Mom's a bitch. Sammy, what do you want? The kitten started to squirm with fear because the light was cold and frightening. Or squirming, the kitten cried out. This water is cold, the first one. <laughs> you want me to write the fucking book for you? I mean, come on now. You gotta learn to do some of this shit on your own. Mm, yeah, what sent her? Sorry. Hollis is dead? That's nuts. A lot going on right now. Where are you? Come home. Long story. I'm still in that place with my friends I ass. Last night that face he painted, she had Macy's phone uh told me to climb out the window. I heard scraping and there and okay, I'm gonna wait till it stops. <laughs> I heard scraping and then there was something in my hair. I felt fingers across my mouth that pulled my head back. I fell at least three floors onto something loud but no one came. For a minute I didn't know what was happening. I saw shadows moving against the concrete. I was just panicking. There was something. I drew a picture. What the fuck? Weird. Without thinking, I showed my teeth and hissed. I dodged out of the way. I emptied the gun. No, I, without thinking, I showed my teeth and hissed. My heart went boom, pumping the hot mortician blood to my face. Eyes went tired black and scary. I showed my teeth and hissed. Uh oh. 
whatever it was, but it wasn't fast enough. I blacked out, woke up in this room. It's like there's bones on the floor, uh, concrete, something carved on the floor in, uh, okay, in a language I can't understand. I don't, I think this was a snake. I can hear her chant, I can hear chanting. Case? Oh, fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> well, that wasn't the right choice, so I'm not supposed to show my teeth and hiss. Okay. Um, yeah. I drew a picture. There's the picture. And I dodged it out of the way. Goose face blood like lightning in me. Bl blood like lightning in me? Everything's so slow around me, or so fast. Okay, I'm not bleeding. Whatever it was, I had a fucked up face, but it looked like that dog in the... Uh, a lot next to the golden play of Palace Chinese. A mouth like that dog. I thought, Macy is alive. Hit as hard as you ever hit anything, Case. We fell. I heard cracking, but didn't feel it. I could move, and it was screaming. I managed to make it stop. Good for you. Uh, I thought there would be more, but it was only twigs breaking sound. It was not Macy. That woman with that face you painted, applauding. She had a burlap and rags on, and she had new blood all over her. Probably the thing's blood. Don't even. You heard a god, she goes. Then she walks past me and her smile goes. Ooh. Wait. And her smiles go. And her smile goes wild and her guillotines. She guillotines her boot heel right into through the woman's neck. Then, without even looking up, she stabs me in the heart. Mom was right. I can't move just looking at this piece of wood sticking out of my chest. I hit the concrete all over again, lying in his blood and my blood. She put me in a box. I'm like, fuck, I'll never move again. She talks to me all through it, saying, You irritate the gods and this amuses me. Your friend has been found. They will torture your friend in order to find you and everyone you know. You will be delivered serotipously into the presence of your enemy, the god that has your friend. Are you okay? Where are you now? I'm in the box. <laughs> Still got my phone. What the fuck for the fifth time? Someone eventually came back here and pulled the wooden knife out and left it here. I can kind of move and it only hurts when I try to turn over. I think they just wanted me in the box. Uh, I'll play along. I'm too fucked up to want to move. She tapped on my box and said they will think you are an early 20th century bronze statue of a man holding a branch. <laughs> and said to someone else, take it to the truck. I don't know, but like, maybe this is insane? Yeah, it sounds kind of like you're insane. If you've got any better ideas on how to find Macy, I'm super excited for you to tell me. There's a knife here, kind of grizzly, chunky, handmade. There's definitely stains. Ew. <laughs> What stereotypically? Secretly. Oh, okay. That's good then. <laughs> I'm still seeing things in dreams. I saw this, thinking she's the killer. I painted her. Yeah? Let's see what she's got. No armed killer? Is that the killer or is that the killer? That's probably the killer. I'll keep an eye out for her. I was in a truck, then being handled around. Than being handled right now. I'm just sitting somewhere. Before that, they threw a leg in the box. <laughs> Who's the leg? Mm. Yeah, that's my thoughts, exactly. So I'm like, I don't know. Still had green sock and a crock on it. Watch, it's gonna be Macy's. Mm. Did you. Yeah, I mean, I was hungry and exhausted as fuck after having my ribcage ripped open and heart ruptured. Plus, like, come on. Crocs and green socks deserve to die. <laughs> my thoughts, exactly. I fucking hate Crocs. <laughs> but maybe that's what they want you to think you're saying they killed the guy and took the guy's boots or adidas off and the spare ugly socks and shoes they keep in the glove compartment in the exact size and put it on there in order to like corrupt me <laughs> maybe you're making me laugh in this box which is hard because there are pieces of my own rib in my back <laughs> and I'm trying to be serious uh <laughs> Hollis's head Hollis's head had numbers 25-4 carved across the front. It's the Bible. Uh-huh. Numbers 25-4. 
take all the heads of the people and hang them up before the Lord against the sun. Right. The door was open and the rooms had broken furniture and paper everywhere. Fuck, they're moving me into another room. Okay, I'm going to save my batteries. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. You notice how it didn't say whether it was a.m. or p.m.? How come it says 8.40 p.m.? It said 9.38. The fucking clock's wrong. Shit. Someone just opened the door. Switching to speech to text so you can see what they're saying. In the hall and the heavy... And the heavy one in the center of the room. And you can go here. Yes, it's easy to move this way. All right, goodbye. Goodbye, Warner. You see, I can hear crying now in heels. You see? Mm. Fucking get the fuck out. One thing you notice, you look at her history beginning around 1910. Also, or so, it's in a crisis in portrait painting. Uh-oh. Only for men, but they do not know where to put their hands. They do not know what to do with their hands, rather than casually keeping them in their pockets like this. They used to do... Do you know blue? Oh my goodness. Holy fucking novel. Wow. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll recap. Uh... Okay, then casually keeping them in their pockets like this as they used to do. Do you know Blue Boy? Do you know Anger's portrait of Napoleon or Casper David, Freed Ricks or Wonder or Uber Demon? It will mirror this paintings. Men used to know where to put themselves, but as the century turns, they just sort of hold their hands in strange ways. Oppenheimer, Sheila's portrait of Schoenberg, obviously, but you know even Otto Dick's lawyer portraits. That's what he's even doing, holding a shape. He can see the woman don't have the problem. They go on holding their hands like they are used to they are used to being looked at. They know why they're being looked at. The men they seem increasingly skeptical of why anyone would be painting them. So the question is, do you know what to do with your hands? Do you have plans for your hands? Because I have plans for your hands if you don't fucking tell me where Case and all of Hollis. Uh oh. Case, please be alive. 12 a.m. Saturday. Hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? You're alive. So far. What happened? Okay, after I heard about the hands, I freaked. A little bit. I bit down bit down and jammed the box open with my fingers. I get the box open and rush out. I try and just shock them. Uh, I'm going to rush out. Because I... What is this one? No, I'll go with this one. I get the box open and rushed out. I knocked something over. I've been completely in the dark for hours. Still had blood and bits of sticky leg on me looking sideways. And I'm bent all like this German art she was looking at. Oh boy. Uh, I'm bent all like this German art she was looking at. That woman in your painting standing over a Macy bleeding from the mouth tied up with duct tape and picture wire. Macy moaned the whole time. There's a statue I broke there. Then I came up with a knife the woman just to spun her head faster than anything and she just and she just said like a sound. That doesn't make sense. And she just said like a sound. It wasn't. Oh, okay. She just said like a sound. It wasn't English. It was like a sound from before the words, before words were invented. And I know this sounds crazy, but the sound broke my ankle. I tripped into a statue and hit my head, lost a tooth. When I looked up, they were gone. The carpet in the hall was too complicated to follow the blood trail. It was the museum we were in. I didn't know where to go, and from behind she came at me whispering another sound. That wasn't a word. My mouth started bleeding. Oh man, that must be the god trying to fuck us up and shit. I ran as fast as I could. I threw myself at her, knocking her down. Um, I don't think bullets are going to do anything, so I think I'm going to throw myself at her. 
she smelled burnt. Behind a corner, I saw a leg, and she was, and she was there, sticking your picture in the room with Macy and a wooden statue. The middle of her, her eyes started to sort of melt away. It looked like black ink, milk, and I felt slow. All the art was looking at me. It's hard to think straight or find her face in with all that art. I didn't feel like it was. I was enough in a real room. Transfixed, I was falling. She smelled of burnt flesh. She choked me on the hardwood. That stupid knife was long gone. I was scrambling in my blood. She was yelling that she would take my skin and feed it to something. Well, shit, did she? Uh, I yelled at Macy to do something. I kicked a leg out. I looked around desperately for something to use. Yeah. Useful. Okay. And what? But all I saw was shitty art. I'm dead. She crossed my windpipe. I blacked out and woke up in this room. It's like paintings looking at me. Door locked. I don't know why they let me keep my phone. Oh my god. Case. Fuck, fuck. Macy. Part of Macy. She just threw in through the door. Uh oh. This was a mistake. I don't think I can get out of here. Come on, where are you? We'll get you out. Nope. I'm dead. I'm dead. No. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, it's going to take my skin and feed it something. I yelled at Macy to do something. Yeah. And then what? Oh, Macy is a, a guy, but he was too panicked to do anything. Uh-oh. She crossed my windpipe and blacked out. I don't know why they kept the case. Fuck, fuck. Yep. Case. Case. No. Okay. Well, I think we know what choice we have to make now. Uh-huh. Right. And I kicked the leg out. <laughs> I bet you this one's right. And managed to knock some art over. I thought it was good. She just laid there with the wood hand reaching through her ribs. Uh, it broke on top of us. Macy was screaming things and there were statue pieces everywhere while I prayed to all the gods that weren't gods of New York. I shoved a piece of broken wood arm at her. Macy wouldn't stop screaming like the fucking prince on the wall and this woman was making these threats and noises while her bones broke apart and her chest collapsed. Cool. Holy mother of fuck. <laughs> I got her. She just laid there with a wood hand reaching through her ribs and up at the track lights. Macy's not in real good shape, but the good news is I'm rich. The Psycho Slasher, Clarissa, or Claudia, or Nadia, or Eska Eichenbach, depending on which passport, lived upstairs from the gallery. She's head curator, director of directing, curator, or curator, of director, or something. It looks like she buys and sells a lot of property. I put Macy on a plane to England once all the screaming was over. Sweet, I'm rich. I tried to explain as little as possible. Even Macy knows you don't stay in the same country with people who want to put picture wire, put picture wire in your mouth and mutilate your roommates. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Heading to the airport. I'm coming home, baby. Living la muerte loca. Okay. Um. This is like a lot. Where are you now? I'm at the end of the episode. I know it's going to be a little bit shorter than the last one, but I wanted to start fresh with a new chapter next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're enjoying sort of like a little story time. I apologize for any kind of mix up with the, the story as I'm going along. The I'm trying to interpret the English as it's being written because you've heard there's a few things that just kind of don't make sense when it comes out. And it was like, okay, that's just a little bit of mistranslation. So I apologize, doing my best, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you already know what to do with that like button. If you haven't hit the sub button yet, make sure you do that before you go. And check out my new Discord link in the description down below. You can come hang out and chat with me. And also check out my new website, chills504.ca. Take care. Very simple. 
Oh, oh, oh.